I think it's four trainers till Winona. One, two, three, four. Yep. Very nice. That's Ashley. Pretty f***ing free stuff. Is Moxie wiped to this guy? That's crazy. I, I'm assuming it's probably one of those things where you just lose everything to like Weather Institute and like Bridge Rival and then you just don't have anything left. I can barely get through a vanilla Pokemon White Heart Corn Nuzlocke. But you can get through it. I don't really need to explain much about the strategy that's going on on this turn. Hey, Clefable's in the flying gym because it's it's got wings, boys. It's clearly got wings. So pivot here on this earthquake. We're only doing this for like a fake out. To just chip this just a little bit. This is Yachi Berry Gliscor, by the way, with sword stands, and the whole puzzle basically revolves around crit doesn't matter here revolves around not getting this to Swords Dance. So he can't Swords Dance, he couldn't Swords Dance on Excadrill because he needed to kill with Earthquake. He can't Swords Dance here because he needs to kill with Dual Wing Beat. We go to Slowbro. And now he can't Swords Dance because with that Fake Out Chip and Mystic Water equipped, Slowbro's highest roll from Surf kills Gliscor. So he thinks I have Slow Kill, so he's not gonna Swords Dance. So I'm free to slack off as he Earthquakes. How about we go one more? And the Surf doesn't actually always kill, but the highest roll kills, which is what matters. Almost. And we kill. I could have set up a future site there, but it doesn't do anything. So I didn't. Am I the only one who doesn't like that AI can see your items? Well, I can see the AI's items. I have a whole document with it. it just seems fair. Okay, so this is always Hurricane. Aurorus is actually going to get value here, which is crazy. We have Prism Berry if this confuses. Or a Lumberry, rather. And now we just kill. I don't think we can stay in on Crobat, right? Paper crit does 96. We actually can. I think we just kill him. I don't think I'm missing anything. Scope lens, inner focus, brave bird crit for 96. Cross poison crit poison doesn't matter. Um, heat wave burn doesn't matter. Pretty sure we're safe. I have like the two best crowbat counters in the game in um, Aurorus and Arcanine. All right, one more trainer before we know him. We're cruising. I told you guys we scale. Booty, clap, booty, clap. Right? That's what I'm saying. Oh my god, he just first tried the puzzle. He's a god. Make sure to stay in with Excadrill until you bait body press is like the only important part here. Alright, time to outspeed and one shot a Choice Scarf Yen Mega. Yeah, this Electric got scaled special attack. Close combat or poison jab. Alright, Psychic would kill. After this drop, if I Psycho Boost here and lower my special attack, it doesn't change the fact that 
Archaeops just has fast kill with Stone Edge, right? And this is just slower than me. Yeah, we can Psycho Boost. For the fans. Sigilyph! Why don't you play your classic one time for the fans? Play your old sh Has like stealth rocks and sh The important part here, Excadrill full walls of this. The important part is that Excadrill needs to be dead to body press from every body press roll from Corviknight after us. So we're just gonna kind of spam rapid spin until we are at 154 HP or below. This is already it, but I have to rapid spin twice anyway because we're speed tied after the first one. Oh, f I think I should have just gone citrus. I'm taking more damage here than I thought I would. I'll see stealth rocks here. Wait, if he stealth rocks after rapid spin again. Okay. Yeah, this is really awkward. I really should have gone citrus. I I thought I'd take less damage. Okay, my bad. I mean, I would speed and kill now, but. Um, so now, it can be dual wing beat from Corvi. The idea was... Uh, the idea was to go through Electrode. But now the problem is if you dual wing beats now, I think it's fine. Like we have so much, we have so much redundancy in this line. If he crits do both dual wing beats, Electro doesn't even die. Um, and then we're just baiting random move. And like usually, like even if it even if it is body press on the switch to Arcanine, it's fine, right? Yeah. I mean, that works. Planned. Alright, let's not see body press crit, but I think it's fine if we do. I think it's literally fine. Because we went Citrus, which will proc. After we kill him, get rid of Unnerve. Yeah, this is completely fine. Now this is always Blaziken in close combat. So he's f And liquidation into Shadow Sneak always kills, we're never dead to acrobatics crit. Beautiful. 
All right, Winona is not f***ing easy. But luckily we got one of the best mons for that fight to counter her Celesteela. <laughs> Which is Electros. All right, tab in, we're doing this. I don't even think I'm teaching anything special to Slowbro. I'm, I'm gonna have to improvise a lot because there's a lot of branching paths, um, but I know the calcs really well on these on this exact team. Um, there's some redundancy and there's a lot of sack potential. Um, and there's two planned sacks. So, yeah. The main problem was that this box was almost completely incapable of dealing with Shaman if it weren't for another goddamn Hidden Power Ice Miracle. Let's just go in, man. Let's lock in. Okay. So, Choice Scarf Staraptor. Is always using Double Edge. We're gonna go here. The idea is, because he's locked into a normal move and not doing damage, he now has a 50% chance to switch every single turn. Eventually, that means that he will be going into Shaman Sky, which is the biggest problem on this team, and be hit by the Spirit Shackle that I'm using. I'm using Spirit Shackle because it doesn't damage Staraptor, because if I damage Staraptor below 50%, he can no longer switch. And the only way that I can kill this Shaman is if I chip it on the switch in, and then kill it with what you're about to see. He can theoretically just never switch until he, until he runs out of PP and starts struggling, and then it's get, it's, it, it, it gets really awkward, but it's just not going to happen. Can you f***ing switch, please? One time. How much PP is Double Edge? I also only have 10 Spirit Shackle PP. Could there ever be a bug here? Where he's not switching because I Spirit Shackled, even though it didn't hit him. I need to click Spirit Shackle. It, it's getting a little bit weird that he's not switching. It's getting a little really weird that he's not switching. Oh no. <laughs> I can't sneak in case he switches. It is so unlikely that he has not switched until now. It has to be a bug. He's 1 in 256 to have not switched so far. I, I can't win if he's not switching. Oh no. If this is documented, I'm f***ed. It's not in the bug list, because I know... Okay, so... I know if you brick break a ghost type in this game, you break screens, but when you do that, it plays an animation. Here's- the thing is, I have to decide now if I'm closing it or not. I can't play out the fight and then decide. I also don't know if it's actually a bug or not. That's the problem. I didn't even save. We can try one more. Okay, this is now a 1 in 512. I mean, it's pretty plausible that Spirit that spear Shackle would lock you even if you are not... <sighs> okay. 
I have to think about this. No, he, he should always be able to switch here to Shaman. This is this is not just like him not meeting the criteria to, to switch. Like there is Mons that can switch into this. I don't two shot Shaman. I don't outspeed and two shot Shaman. People have talked about this bug in the Dexa Discord. Yeah, I mean it's not on the documented list, so I think it would be okay to clause because I I can't be expected to read through every single message in Dexa's Discord. But. Okay, so I think I need to decide now if I'm just going to Claws um, and recook the fight. Or if I'm going to play it out. I'm not pulling it. I think a lot of people would play it out here. I have to think. And I 100% have to close chat. Holy sh! I mean, I'm setting precedent, right? If I'd saved before this fight, I probably already would have reset. I mean, I can probably get back to this state of save, right? I technically have to track like consumables, but it doesn't really matter. Or I could just, um, I could just intentionally wipe here. Right? There's nothing I can really lose. The thing, so the only thing I'm thinking about is like I've already committed like a scale. Um, and like a move deletion and stuff like that for this plan. So I think if I clause this, I want to return the save file back to where it was before I committed those changes. Um, which would mean resetting to the last save point and then just like fighting the trainers again. Um, obviously without like j j just clearing them so the save file is back. Huh. I think it's totally fair to, and I think, I mean, we've talked about this before. I think it's mostly about like consistent consistency right now because there's like 30% of me that wants to play this out for the content. This is hard truck if it doesn't work. That doesn't matter. I shouldn't, that shouldn't influence the decision. I need to decide now if I'm always going to clause um, undocumented bugs or not. I can't decide based on like how f I am if I clause it or not. Why wouldn't you? I don't know. A lot of people don't. Dude, f***ing Kindle costs. Lost his run on E4 to an undocumented bug, and he ran it back. He didn't f***ing clause that sh He lost, he ran it back, he did a whole full wall run back to the f***ing Elite Four. Now, do I think that's insane? Yeah. If I was on E4 right now, I'd be clausing that sh 100%. I don't- the thing is, I don't want to look at the calc and, like, plan if I can win this fight, because I can't let that influence my decision if I'm gonna clause this or not. I think, honestly, realistically, I have to clause this. If I, if I want to be consistent, because I know for a fact, if I run, if I'm on, like, Space Tag, if I'm in Seafloor Cavern, if I'm on Victory Road, and I lose something to, I, I lose my run to an undocumented bug, there's no f***ing way I'm not clausing that. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not built like Kindle Cross. But it would be really hype if I won, dude. <laughs> dude, if I could steer this fight, it would be so f***ing hype. But, like, real sh I can't win. I need those 37% damage on Shaman. This is so tough. I'm so conflicted. I'm sorry, it seems like I'm stalling, but I'm genuinely so conflicted. There's two wolves inside of me. And I know that a lot of you, there's two parties watching, and to both it seems really obvious what I should be doing, but you just have to understand that I'm between both of those parties right now. I just wish I knew if it was 100% a bug, but like people have apparently talked about it before. Dude, th th here's the thing. I so bad want to look at the calc right now and plan this fight out from this position, but I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't look at it. I can't, I can't let myself, I can't let that sway my decision. I need to decide now. The only thing that I'm thinking about now, in terms of like consistency, if I ran into like a beneficial bug, at some point that like saved my run. What would I do then? You take those. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> You're right. I don't know. I'm probably too hung up on it. I'm too hung up on it. It's so whether you can live with your virtue afterwards. Dude, I actually like, I'm so fine clausing this. 
I'm so fine. Like literally there was like a 20% chance that during the cook, someone comes in and was like, hey, I was reading messages in, in Dex Discord and the spirit shackle traps him. And then I'd have to recook anyway, right? Like this is just as if this had happened. <sighs> you guys, I'm closing this shit. Unreal. Unreal if you don't close this. Like legit. I'll bring the save file back up to where it was. Um, we can track like consumables used if we want, but it it really doesn't matter. Cause the, yeah, cause the thing is, I I committed like um I committed resources too, right? I committed a, a move slot on electrode and a heart scale and stuff. So I'll bring it back to before Winona off stream. Then we'll do an, a, a recook tomorrow. Do you have clause undocumented AI behavior? What do you mean by that? Isn't that what I literally just did? <laughs> I don't know. It depends. But to me, with the position that that fight was in, being like the f very first turns and it was like the first, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with this. I can live with this personally, and it's my run. It's my rules. If you call the run unvirtuous for something like this, go f yourself. Okay. Uh, let's go raid someone.